screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, yep. Crap. Hey guys, what's up? It is Dum Diamonds here, and I'm doing a mod review on not many items. Too many. Not enough items, that's what it's called. And also, there's Ray's mini map in the corner, because I used that for a Minecraft style server that I might do gameplay on. But, yeah, so not many items is kind of like too many items, but more sophisticated. No, that's not the word. Advanced. This, I. Personally, for me, this is a better version of too many items because, first of all, you get to spawn spawners and a bunch of other stuff. Well, that's basically it. You get to spawn spawners, other boss bat, which I hate witches, and then you can also search. Like, let's say I want like a diamond, I guess. It shows all the words that have the word diamond in it. I don't think too many items has it, but yeah. And also, one of the greatest features in not too many items. Oops. If you press the R key, you can see crafting recipes of how to get the item. And so, and then if you click on the question mark, it shows you what to put in it, etc. etc. And it also shows the item numbers, so if you use this like way too much, which you probably will since this is freaking awesome, you'll probably memorize each and every one of the every one of the ones that you usually spawn. So and also yeah, that's basically it. And as too many items has, you can save it like let's say I will have like a bunch of like random crap. Like I'll say I have that. I can save it. Then I can clear my inventory if it has that. No, it does not. Oh, you can just drag it in there and get rid of all of the useless stuff that you have. But I think it only works in creative mode. Oh, it did work in creative mode. Never mind. So then you can click on that. And you get all your stuff back. So, um... It's pretty neat, I guess. I I personally think it's better than too many items. And it's... But... I'll show you guys how to install it right... Now. So, the way for you to install not enough items... It's really easy. All you have to do... Well, this is the Forge version. So for not enough items, I'm just gonna expand this. All you have to do is just not enough items. Chicken bones mods. Since this is the creator of chicken bones. So for not enough items, you need to code chicken core. So let's see, mods. These are the mods that I have installed. Well, I've only got two, not enough items in a box map. This is just the code chicken core. So, for you to install not enough items, you go to download, you click on downloads. On This will be in the description. And dev and source, developer and source, those do not work. So don't try doing those. Because I tried installing those because, I don't know. So I tried installing those, it did not work. I tried installing those and my Minecraft just crashed. So I deleted them and it worked fine. So you install the Universal for Coke, Chicken Core, and not enough items. I don't know what that does or what that does, I don't know. They're just latest and those are the recommended. But this works just fine, the latest. And so then once you install those, you want to install the latest version of Forge which will probably be 1.7.10. I would recommend not manually installing it. I wouldn't recommend the installer for it because it's easy, it's quick. 
and it's just so much better. And so once you install that, you just, just gonna install the installer. <sighs> Whatever. So it, it then goes to AdFly for both of those. Yep, for both of those it goes to AdFly. You just install those, all of those. And so then you'll probably have code chicken core non items for the jar. You're gonna wanna double click on the installer for, well I don't have it since it's AdFly. You, want, you would want to double click on the jar for the installer and after you do that it's going to say like install it install client not server and once you finish installing that you should have a mods folder or if you don't have one just create one and so in the mods folder you can drag any vert you can drag in any mod as long as it's 1.7.10 and if it doesn't work even if it's 1.7.10 for the forge and mods then it's probably buggy and really crappy, and so you don't want to do that. So, like, and to solve this, so that your so that your Minecraft stops crashing, you just want to delete the mod that's causing it. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.